this is my new video about how to draw line graph in origin but with some additional features there are some problems student face when drawing line graph and some uh, additional features will help uh, to impress the reviewer when you are putting this graph in your research article this is very very interesting you know graphs play very key role important role when you are publishing your work if your graphs are attractive and they are good in quality so the acceptance chance is higher as compared to other graphs if you are preparing graphs in excel and if you are preparing graphs in origin the chances of your acceptance is more when you are to publish your articles if you are using origin so let's see in to how this uh, uh, line graph uh, form uh, this is the data I transform from uh, my Excel file uh, uh, this is about three line graphs or any kind of graphs but this is uh, uh, one data one is x-axis another is y-axis for example this is one graph if you want to draw like just select this and click in this okay you can cut this from this below arrow delete so this means that this is one graph x axis and y axis this is another graph these two this is another graph so this is now i'm comparing usually you have to compare graphs uh, when you are drawing so this is the three uh, 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 graphs and let's select them all very easy and now let's if you go to plot here it's up to you just select line and uh, you can directly from this shortcut here now the line uh, graphs uh, appear here so uh, uh, to show you some additional features uh, let's go to basic formatting if somebody new to uh, this software so if you want to change about the uh, uh, these lines you need to click on these lines you see when you click it appears when you want to do changing in this outside borders etc just click on the outside border let's do to do changes uh, first to the outside border just, just when you double click here so this box up here there are a lot of information so you must need to look to those information first look our graph is just like uh, not complete the top is not here and the uh, right side is also not here so if you want to add these lines there are two ways format when you see the word format it means that you are playing with your object your thing you go to format here when you go to format the bottom is this one here and this box is tick already the top is above and this box is not uh, ticked just tick this and apply don't okay apply you will see the changes you see now these bars are outside so this is the major bar and this one is the major bar and this one is the minor bar so if you want to change for example the major ticks i want to inside just click inside it will come this side you see so this is very very interesting the major the minor is also if you want to in so it will come to in so this means that you have to play with this uh, graph the left is already there you see the show and the right is not there so you, you click the right so it will appear here you see all these things are now here now you can see that at the right there is no major text and minor text because we select here none when you select this in or out so it will appear <laughs> so i mean this is a very nice software now if you want to bring some uh, data and the top so just go to uh, tick label here when you go to tick label so at the bottom this is this is this this label is uh, checked at the top it is not checked when you click here so it will appear to you you see but we do not need this to be there we just want to uh, because we this is only two axes x axis and y axis graph so it appear here okay and there is also another way uh, how to deal this uh, there is a grid line here uh, if you want to make your uh, graph more attractive for example if you want to uh, there is only 
vertical grid line and what a horizontal grid line if i want to vertical so the major grid line is if you wish so apply this so if you, if you wish to use some other color so just other colors you can change the thickness everything you you, you need to uh, thickness here and if you want to use some dotted line you see here and also the minor grid line you wish the minor grid line also there here you see if you want to use some other color because why you want to use this it will help you to clearly identify uh, uh, the, 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 the number here and you can also see horizontal uh, click this one here and you will see the grid line here horizontal you see you can change everything I don't want to waste on time on this you can change everything okay now let me remove <coughs> these grid lines I am not interested if you are interested so you just apply uh, these grid line but I do I'm not interested what I'm going to a very very important thing I show many pla places that how to play with this it is very very easy it is not difficult let me go to graphs here now I want to do changes with this uh, graphs now this is additional feature as I give in my thumbnail that there is additional features I want to put here so now you can see that the, the, the lengthy window is appear here sometimes people make this shorter by, by clicking these arrows when you are working uh, with the all three graphs so you do not need the, the, the this the arrow this side you see there are three graphs in one two three these are three graphs representing here but if you are working here to ch for example look now now if I'm changing something the changes will happen to all graphs because this is a dependent here for example I am going to line here and I want to choose the uh, line thickness uh, 5 so it will appear it will apply to all you see it apply to all and for example if you want to use uh, dash dot dot so it will apply to all and I do not want this to happen for example if I do not want to uh, this happen so let me uh, go here uh, sorry let me go to groups here group and make it independent now you can play with each and every line for example let's go to line and now I am in this black one you see you can easily see this is the black one so if you do not like these colors so just go to individual and change this color to pink here okay apply to appear pink you see now I am interested to have a little bit thinner and I am interested here in this dot dot you see this is one way now let's go to another graph here this is the red one and I want this uh, to be uh, uh, the, the completely green and I want this to be a straight because a solid because I want to do a comparison here I want to give a clear comparison or something here so uh, you can change here this one uh, you can also change this line here for example if you want to change this here You see here now the third one is here and it is the blue one here and if you want to change this to uh, some other color if you if you, you wish uh, to change this from there to this one here so you apply this here and you will see the changes are there and this is now the some other uh, shape here you see and the green one uh, this is let's select this one now uh, some other form this dash 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 and you will see but this let's change this one this is no uh, so sorry not no line a uh, straight line and a straight line here so you will see there are three different uh, types of graphs so the problem was here if you are working in independent you can change every graph separately if you are in the dependent domain and when you uh, change uh, let's cancel this when you are in dependent domain and if you wish to change one thing you see now we cannot change because we already make this independent you see now we can we change this independently 
we just simply say it is now we change one day indefinitely any place uh, you want to do changes you just because you are playing with the line only so this is all the parameters if you want to do the transparency decrease the transparency or something so this is how uh, you are dealing this is the pink color here and also increase the size here you can also increase the size from here from hands let's try if it works uh, 10 because the, the maximum if you see the, if you go here the maximum is 5 let me put here 10 it, it works or not oh yeah oh nice it works you see here these are some additional feature for example <coughs> you are not happy with this one just uh, the width is, the width is 7 here you see and you can also write here the 20 here you see the width of like this yeah so this means that uh, you can play with all these parameters and I explained many times that how to make uh, these uh, very attractive I just select this and click board here and select this in board here and anything you, you wish you can write here for example if you want to write here this this is this is uh, wavelength or whatever I, I don't, don't, don't know anything you want to put here uh, wavelength and then when I can also put the unit here uh, so you can make this board here and you can increase the size here and similarly you can also write right here this for example this is efficiency uh, and this is in percentage whatever you give the value here and this is your percentage you can board and you can increase the size or decrease wish. This is how you make the uh, graphs attractive. You can also make this board here and make increase the number here. So this is uh, how you make attractive uh, graphs and uh, some additional features. Sometimes students face problem that when they want to change the uh, the size of one thing and it's automatically changing for R. So you need to change this from dependent to independent. I hope it works. Now the rest is your job how you play with this uh, uh, graph and make this uh, more and more attractive you can also change the color from here you can see you just select here so the color will be changing from here so there is also uh, these these bars here uh, you can play with these bars uh, all over the time so uh, it's up to you that to how uh, you uh, see these graphs here okay so I hope now everything is clear just work with this software it is very very interesting and very very powerful software uh, to help you out so thanks for watching